Good afternoon, folks. Mike Wells, your world explorer. Today is July the 16th, 2022, and right now we're looking at the birdhouse gourds, aka bottle gourds. Now, these things are really climbing fast, and they're starting to flower a lot. Now, I did the lasagna layering here in the soil but i'm not sure if the the root boring nematodes are going to get a hold of these or not hopefully not but so far it's looking like they're not doing any damage and i didn't treat the soil for the nematodes so let's hope that they don't destroy our gourds here anyhow we try to we tried to plant them between these two trees over here. I don't think they were successful simply because the soil here is not all that plentiful or uh, fertile. And uh, there were probably some nematode issues too. But I'm really not sure if, if gourds uh, suffer uh, from nematodes like our summer squash do and... Uh, some of our other plants throughout the property do, like the bean plants. Anyhow, I've got a second main line run over here so that I could attach it with these cross lines to make uh, like a, an overhang for these vines to grab onto. They seem to be grabbing onto the, if you look here, they grab onto the uh, the lead lines pretty well. See, like that. If you go up all the way down, they just climb it like a ladder. It's really crazy. Very cool. But up here, I used a wire, uh, an aluminum wire, because I suspect the aluminum wire will last longer than the poly ethylene uh, lines do this material this material in the sunlight breaks down so after about six months to eight months you have uh, severe weakness in the in this material and they end up breaking pretty easily so I've got this up here which is Went to Home Depot, purchased this for 20 bucks, right? Lincoln Electric Aluminum MIG Wire. So this is basically used in uh, welding. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as that helps the channel grow. And stay tuned as I'll keep you updated on the progress of these birdhouse cords. Have a great day.